but this is going to be then the third part if uh, I am somehow not going to manage to join the second part with this here. But here's the thing. Uh, the biggest problem with this wash is it became evident next to the size. This is a really, really giant time pieces, if you like. Um, they all come about 23 millimeters in thickness. 23 millimeters, the housing itself is thick. Uh, however, the biggest problem in this watches, and it's also why I decided when I purchased this, where are the belts? The belts that you could not find anywhere on the internet are driving people absolutely insane. People were losing their mind over the belts that would, whatever issue there might be, uh, leave them basically without the watch. Uh, what exactly am I talking about? What is the problem here with this stuff? It's a big problem because the housing itself uh, if I take it is designed in a such a way the housing itself is designed in a such a way so that you cannot use a regular belt you cannot use uh, also a nylon strap because it's it makes it's designed in such a way that it makes the watch itself all around and in fact even comfortable to wear let me demonstrate this stuff so this is a really 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 a problem that uh ended up this is smell 8060 digital is something that he doesn't explain anything. You see, the, you see the way the watch is designed in the back. Well, uh, you know, the watch is, is designed like this, basically, so that there you go. Stop this here. They are all the same. Every one of them is the same. So the watch itself is designed to be round, basically, with um, use. curved okay round basically it runs like this nicely on your wrist it it goes <laughs> nicely well yeah nicely i mean um nicely hell yeah in some way somehow okay you go you see, it's divided like this, rather than flat, you know, and it's this, thanks to this issue here, see this stuff here, this stuff here, this all makes the whole thing round, basically, it makes it round, like I demonstrated you here, right, so now, if you do a place, if you take this away, all right, and this one is maybe, I'm going to say, not even so comfortable. This is not exactly the most comfortable, the model. This model is not the most comfortable. They had more comfortable models, which, in fact, have all others. Almost every one of them is more comfortable than this one. Right, let me demonstrate you this. With literally... What you see here being extended to about housing, all the way to the housing like this, and connected in a such a way so that people have a problem uh, changing the battery because it covers these screws here. See? It even covers these screws. Those are actually even more comfortable to wear than this model here that you see. This, this model, this model exclusively is using the option the belt that even allows you to change the battery without removing the uh, the belt uh, so on this watch you can actually remove the battery without removing the belt which is absolutely not the case with other watches let me demonstrate to you 
because these watches are all the same. It's all the same watch. They're all the same, identical. It's actually this guy. Um, so I hope, no, it's not the same video. It's just that he got these two videos that he would make. The same guy, the same person. The same guy, the same, the same advertiser. And now the watch in his hands is different one, and that one looks like this. So let me just see how when he flips the watch so that I can demonstrate you what the difference is between. But there you go. So you can see the difference, right? See the difference. So if I use him, his example. Uh, and I do something like this, then it becomes this issue here. Now you see that the screws are actually covered entirely, opposed to the other watch, you see? And this is actually even easier to wear, this watch. It's more comfortable. It's easier to wear because it's all curvy like this. Don't even think about placing on here uh, something like let's say uh it's already 23 millimeters wide thick thick housing and now you're gonna put right there you're gonna pop right there you're gonna even put uh something like uh like i suggested you like a i'm gonna say like a nylon Let's say, like, you know, I put the nylon belt, like a NATO strap or something like that. Wow, is that going to be fucking uncomfortable, right? I guarantee you it's going to be extremely, extremely uncomfortable. So what I said right now, actually even had people search and search and search internet. I remember Italian people involved in this stuff. They were losing their fucking mind over this shit. And the straps became ugly and dirty, like the beautiful watch that I have. Uh, I was going to take this one, for instance, and the watch became over the course of time dirty, ugly because of the strap. You can see through that strap. Uh, and there was no way to replace the fucking strap. And some straps, they found them cut and stuff like that. And so... The cut strap means no watch for you, baby. So this is actually quite a, not a such an easy stuff to deal with. Eventually, I mean, if you have to, if you have to go out and, and deal with this kind of issue, this is fucked up. This is like, strap down means no watch for you. Sure, it's not the best day of your life. If you if you are compared to to wear the watch that is so big that you cannot use regular strap, so this was a, the biggest problem with this watch. These watches are really good quality. Otherwise, these watches are really really made in Japan. If you're concerned just quality wise or reliability, these watches are no joke. They are made in Japan. I was in the factory. This was a factory in Japan, old factory, very old factory. It was a test done, and they tested this. And it was Seiko, Casio, and Citizen, and other watches. This is a lot of watch industry in Japan that maybe, probably, I would say, didn't even like them, whatever it was. The, the company went out of business because of Casio, Seiko, and so on. The company that manufactures the engines, the movements, mechanism, if you like, for this watch, for these types of watches, yes, uh, was already out of the business. And then opportunity in China opened. And somehow by miracle, miracle it exploded the production and nobody could shut it down. Export of these Japanese movements. Uh, as much as they tried also in Japan to completely shut them down, and they couldn't. Uh, it's a really good quality. It's not a joke. These engines are really Japanese. Uh, 
just as the advertise, uh, but they assemble them together in China. So um, these are few issues when considering this watch. It's big, it's giant, it's really thick. You, I don't know about you, if you're a bigger guy, yeah, sure, it's going to be comfortable in your hand. But I find it not as very something that's going to be comfortable on my hand. I found this is going to be a trouble. I was going to buy this for swimming, for hiking and stuff like this. And it would not work out because it would trouble me. This, the size of the watch would be annoying to me. Uh, as much as it's beautiful, as much as it's really gorgeous, these are the facts. This is the size. This is as big it is. On one opportunity in the United States of America, where this psychiatrist cop would was forced to wear these watches because he was hired by the British to destroy me absolutely everything and through the use of the violence portray me uh, this watch as something as the only alternative this types of watches is the only alternative uh, like something normal but then on the other hand also not normal uh, and it was back and forth back and forth uh, covering his ass with different kind of statements, sometimes no good, sometimes good watch, sometimes most of the time, however, everything was wrong with me because I wouldn't like the watch and so on, you know. Uh, at the same time, the police investigators who would wear these watches during uh, visits of Chinese delegations to city of the Novo Mesto were complaining all along that they are sick and fucking tired of wearing the watches because of their family members because they bought them watches and they are not allowed to wear those watches and uh, that is making all kinds of family problems and all kinds of stuff like this and they don't like the watches and so on. Uh, these are the issues that I did, did not make any difference in my case, in my selection. Now, when I decided I would despite everything not go and purchase this and i wasted months every so time going back and forth to see what am i gonna do i realized that when psychiatrist peter cops even pulled this watch had this watch in his hand the people become really really suspicious about his uh, conduct uh, of watching him what he has on his hand uh they became they acted like a paranoid uh, they believed that there is a fucking camera on the watch all kinds of stuff like this that that he is watching them spying on them and uh, this watch is based on what i observed how people interacted with the people involved in the who wear those watches uh, they were always certain sure that there is something in those big watches they're big like a fucking TV, man. It's like a 55 millimeter, 55 millimeter, yeah, 5.5 centimeter diameter watch. Watches, actually. Uh, and it's the kind of stuff that I cannot have because of my profession, because of the stuff I do. Because I'm going to wear the fucking watch like this. The people will be paranoid. The people will be fucking scared. They will not approach to me. They will go with this stuff and scare the people off, basically, make people run from me just by seeing me wear this watch, uh, assuming that I have a camera all over, and, uh, you know, on top of that, smart watches are small watches, very extremely capable, and on top of it, they do have cameras. There is actually a use of something small rather than... Uh, something so giant so big uh, that has nothing and these are the words i actually repeat even from psychiatrists right now who in a way suggested me not to purchase but through the poverty that he pushed me through by destroying me 30 watches at least uh stealing me watches and so on uh i would have absolutely no vision right now to a normal view basically i could not reserve myself to the piece of sanity the stuff i have spoken to you about
and would absolutely because of the cost because of the price because of the beauty of these watches would go and settle for it it's just really really a voice of wisdom reason that uh, it made me understand that this is not what i should do i did purchase uh, this kind of watch um, this type of watch i have already purchased uh, the watch was stolen to me by the police by the yeah by the through the postal services uh i bought many other watches watch why this watch has become broken destroyed stolen uh and so this watch is a centimeter and a half thick which is i never had a, such a thick watch uh it's actually it was like this it's like a colorful watch like this this is why i purchased i purchased because of that belt because it's so colorful beautiful because of this housing you know otherwise i would not even purchase so i came to realize that uh, aliexpress when i go back here and i rec recall this guy saying to me that he would only testify for me if i would purchase the watch this guy's from britain now you can look at this it looks very stylish and perfect for casual use or you know it just looks luxury as well easy to wear and it has a very uh, grippy secure strap as well so that doesn't come off that easily it also has a stainless steel back here and it's also a waterproof feature as well they got the buttons here you got the he was not the only one. They involved so many people in this particular brand, Smile. The same thing went on with the owners of this Smile, sellers of this Smile company, the same as thing. Well, analog as well. Uh, so this also has four hands out and it's, it has a secure strap as well that won't come off. And at the back here, you got the stainless steel bit here as well. It also has so this, this, are more, um, this actually is more the comfortable round, watch round the other one that I demonstrated can, um, you. Change the time on. This is actually a comfortable watch to wear. More comfortable, better quality, higher quality watch than the one that I demonstrated you. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to even purchase this. I'm really, really undecided. But the thing about it is that really, really, once you screw up the belt, once things go wrong with the belt, uh, you're fucked. You really are on your own. That's when you're you you're gonna have to find a way to uh, to substitute this stuff somehow, which would be basically with with a regular nylon band, and then you would put something underneath so that it would hug somehow, sew onto it, so that it would hug somehow the housing, and so that way you would wear the watch. You know, not such an easy easy thing that you would just go online and purchase something, and that's gonna be it going to solve your problems you're going to have to find solution for this shit if uh, the band goes if it goes bad you know you know what i mean so a little bit complicated stuff uh, before i finish before uh, so they got paid for this stuff they the british royals and people complain that i don't like this watches during mk ultra that you don't like and they associate that stuff with a racism with discrimination against the Chinese and so on. That kind of stuff went on. Not only against Chinese, but against the sellers and so on. So they demanded from me to purchase this. Either you're going to purchase this or it's going to be this. And it was circus. British claimed what a damage I have done to them and so on. I don't know what the fuck I did to them. Uh, Prince Andrew was the one that rated the watch that nobody otherwise liked it than myself this is this watch here i doubt it i think a lot of people would go for this stuff here as a good choice uh and it's his personal choice and also this one here yeah that this is also his personal choice so once i think about these issues here uh when i consider this kind of stuff yeah uh when i consider that there was a psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana Polia staff that got involved in it and started to instigate seeing themselves like Nurse Angia also demanded from me, to, however, to buy another watch that she liked, like the one that I demonstrated you with the funky colors and so on. 
I don't know what I'm gonna find you that one so that I can demonstrate you. It would be really nice so that I can find you that watch on this occasion. She is like she for herself, she wanted to make a sale, meaning a theft of your last euros, of your last financial resources was on the top priority of the British royals. This is what this is all about. They were making sales, they would make sale. So AliExpress were making sale. AliExpress was heavily involved in torture since day one. Since it all started, these people were totally financed by the British royals, who would, however, not agree with it due to amount, due to agree of degree of torture involving it. So they had a fucking problem. Uh, you, as soon as you would get involved in crime against me, you would be entitled to money to the certain financial resources in return for a torture. Market uh, easier. Uh, they would assist you with the sellers, with markets, so that you would really, really quickly prosper in case you were like in retail, wholesale, or even manufacturing, as is this case here, business. Uh, but in return, you would have to do a special favors for this uh, elite criminals from London. Uh, and in my case, they wanted to rip me apart through absolutely everything, through the cardio, through the job. Um, I mean, the job, the job, this, this, the stuff that you see here was just to become, just as the car search was, this was just to become excuse for forced unemployment, for my being blacklisted on a job market. That's why they destroyed so many watches. That's why so much abuse. That's why so much torture was involved in watch industry. Every watch that AliExpress advertised in a value of up to, absolutely in a value of up to 25 euros, was involved in MKUltra since the beginning of uh, AliExpress company official existence in 2010. The same thing goes with, uh, with the eBay for a much longer duration. Uh, and, of course, there was also many, many pieces that were really expensive, uh, watches up to 50 bucks, 50 euros, and everything was done based on interrogation, how much you would pay, what kind of watch do you like. So we're talking about, we're talking about well over probably 1,000 different watches involved in, in the issue with probably, when it's only concerning the watch industry, at least 1,000 people also involved in it. Anywhere from watchmakers, anywhere from watch manufacturers, anywhere from watch sellers, YouTubers. When I say 1,000 people, that's a very, very small number. And so it's amazing that a genocide procedure such as was mine became so hushed, so silent, so hidden. They get paid. They get commission. In my case, for causing, for ripping me off, for destroying me watches, for stealing me the stuff, British government pays Slovenian government commission. They award them. For breaking the spine to me in Poland, British government awarded Polish government probably with the military contracts, with all kinds of stuff like that. That's how they get the extras. That's basically how it goes. It's total, it's not a corruption, it's something else. Yeah, well, they say, hey, you go and you prove it. You prove without us, you're not going to prove. And even threaten, if it's going to be too many complaints against us, the case will not go through. Yeah, I will only lost 52 years on this stuff. So the understanding of this stuff, the understanding of the violence behind all this stuff, I am not going to find this watch. Uh through this issue here, probably would be better off just um, literally, I don't know why I'm doing this, when after all is the stuff is all over internet.
let's say thousand people. This is what the nurse Andrea liked. Already sometimes in 2011, something like that. 2011, uh, 2010, something like that. Before, way actually 2000. You know what to be exactly. You know sometimes like it, she became really really big. Andrea Del Grande. She became. Well, we were one year before I was thrown into the psychiatric hospital, before the British Royals threw me into the psychiatric hospital. So in 2011, so AliExpress was open in 2010 officially. So before already existed Alibaba and so on. And so uh, they were using uh, blueprints, they were using as samples they would give to the people involved, to the Slovenian police psychiatrists and so on and they would pose and dance with this stuff in front of me or what they alone suggested me if you will say this is going to be a schizophrenia now imagine somebody dancing with this shit in front of you for 10 12 years as it was in my case and then on the 12th year he tells you and by the way if you're going to say that you have seen this and if you're going to say that you have seen that watch, and if you're going to say that you have seen this and that and the other one, showing that one and this one and that one, sits in front of you with a computer, other people around you showing you watches, when you know them fucking sure that they had them on their wrists 10 years earlier already, beginning. And you know what they tell you? They tell you, it goes like this through the AliExpress and say, by the way, and if you're going to say that you have seen this watch already before, like earlier than, let's say, in 2000 when they started to uh, fabricate them, uh, manufacture them, it's going to be a schizophrenia, with which, by the way, they labeled me in 2010. <laughs> and they went and wrote that I'm a paranoid schizophrenic. And I was my worth against the entire psychiatric association in Slovenia, even worse. I was not allowed to go to the court. I was not allowed to get attorney. The state attorney that was given to me, broken without fucking dime. Slovenia gave me the attorney that was actually worse, that actually that acted in the court where I was not allowed to participate even. Worse than what a prosecutor was. They would lock me up and they would send me about probably 30 centimeter thick all kinds of lies and accusations from different lawyers around Slovenia how they would not defend me some uh, creating worse accusations than what uh, even the state prosecutor lied against me eh? and <laughs> this is your fucking nowhere existence when you dead buried through the British when you dead buried with knife under the throat, basically, sitting in front of the computer, and they tell you what you will say, and if you will say different, you will be labeled as a paranoid schizophrenia. It's going to be not not labeled. It's going to be a paranoid schizophrenia. This watch, by the way, became Candice of the psychiatrist Peter Crouch, because just like in the music, he found for every one of these watches here that you see. Very important for me to video record this stuff. He found the way uh, to for me to see in it a psychiatry. So it comes to my mind certain watch models that I have seen, which psychiatrists Peter Kapsch have used uh, to push me down the throat, like this one here, psychiatry. Uh, to push me down the throat idea that how they remind on uh, psychiatric pills and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, so they gave the psychiatrist who took about 1,000 songs from my computer and would start to interpret them, play them along as I would sit and interpret them. Uh, sitting next to me, interpreting whichever way it would fit him through the eyes of the psychiatry, through the eyes of the psychiatric violence, which psychiatric hospital Ljubljana 
Polia enforced against me on behalf of Slovenian courts, on behalf of the Slovenian Supreme Court, Slovenian Parliament, and so on, which which uh, British government subcontracted to engage in a extermination procedure against me. So what do you say about this? What are your chances to stay alive? How long can you go for like this? For how long can you? How long can you keep it up? So the physical injuries through the poisoning they did, they claim me. They developed me autoimmune, anywhere from autoimmune diseases to bleeding, internal bleeding, and so on. They don't. Need, they claim they did not even know all the way to the cancer issues, very serious issues. Did not even know, according to them alone, the degree of injuries they committed to me. So, how do you like about this kind of stuff when it comes to British democracy? About the British. You like them enforce stuff like this, this kind of a watch business. I am trying to find the model that I would uh, potentially use to actually even demonstrate to the watch through which two, two models, which uh, psychiatrist Peter Kabsch demanded from me to see inside of them uh, psychiatric pills. I like that very much. But that's very, very important for me to video record. You know, that's this here was already psychiatric pills, this stuff here. Anything that would be like this, that would be this colors, like this, it would be all according to him, psychiatric pills. He didn't like these watches because they look good. Because I liked any kind of watch that I liked that was according to my taste, it was immediately psychiatric pills. So I like this because of those wristbands. Would I buy this? No, not really. Because the wristbands are so-so. They don't really represent me. Uh, to the certain degree, maybe, but not, not as it is the situation or whatever stuff I do. Like I said, with this kind of watch, I would sure trigger a lot, a lot of attention that would not be in my best interest. Nor the people that would uh, approach me otherwise. It's the stuff that you don't want... This is more like a discreet stuff. Uh, it's okay if it looks fun, if it looks good. Um, I think that the watches that the, the watch that I demonstrated earlier is actually a really, really elegant watch. Um, but it might be completely different for other people. All the people have different ideas. Every one of you, every one of us has his own idea. And my idea, how, anyhow, as I stated, it's really, really based on something that other people might not even see as appealing because of, as I suggested you, um, certain issues that they, I have not, I think, even seen this one yet, I think. I, I don't think I have seen this one yet. For this watch, for this kind of watch, uh, for the watch that I demonstrated you earlier, uh, that uh, Nurse Andrea demanded from me to purchase, it became evident. I can tell you about these watches. I didn't even hold them in my hands in my lifetime. And I can already tell you the review for every one of them. This was the worst watch because it didn't have the surface. It didn't have that protector. So it would be, it would be glass which is in this case of all these watches is just acrylic plastic, uh, which is very good anyways. Uh, what you should do if you purchase this watch, you should purchase also yourself a paper that you would glue like for the seller of phone protection foil and glue one over, uh, stick like a sticker uh, to protect the glass from getting scratched. This is your job. But the thing is that this truly doesn't have anything. It doesn't have anything like it would be something that would be used uh, that if you if you if you bruise this against the surface, you will easily, easily scratch. And they did. They scratched the paint off. You see the paint? That paint was falling off big time based on what I recall from MK Ultra. So this was one of the problems. Uh, they why 
I started to think in a different way because everybody started to complain that it was two things. The glass would break and the housing itself would scratch, lose paint and so on. So uh, for the stuff I do also, uh, it would not be exactly the best fit. Every one of these have a certain flaws, but if you have a big hand, this is the best watch I think in the world. I don't think you can beat quality of this watch in the world. There is no watch that can anywhere near compare to this. If you have a big wrist, mine is like, uh, I don't know, I think 18 centimeter or something like that. Um, and I don't think that's enough. Really, I like comfort. Or maybe I will buy, I'm not sure, okay? But I'm just saying. Uh, you make your own calls, right? So basically, that's all I'm saying. So this stuff here, I haven't seen this one yet. Mm, I am going to check this one. I haven't seen this one at all. I haven't seen any of this. If you would purchase this, the best, the best off, from what I recall, uh, it would be that you would purchase the color that is the same color like the housing, the plastic, and so on. And then I don't know, maybe if you scratch this off or whatever the case might be in your case, what can I tell you? Uh, you just, maybe you can just paint or whatever it is that you're going to do. Maybe this is this, maybe this is 17 millimeters. Maybe that this is actually uh, really the watch for me. I am I am gonna I am gonna actually add this stuff to my picks and see maybe. Aha! Okay, this is this is not it. I haven't seen that watch before at all. I don't remember that I would see this watch. I yet have to see what this is if it's easy to be scratched or whatever uh, whatever the case might be for me to finish this video the watch i was looking for briefly is this one here this is also what was placed on special and if you would like to know, this is what the psychiatrist Peter Kavsch had an enormous amount of problem with this kind of watch. Uh, and this kind of watch, eventually, uh, he started to advocate probably because he was always looking forward to make me say something. Uh, but this here was the watch because I really liked one, not this one, but let me see. Anything that he noticed that I liked, this, this here, he would point me out the cuts in the, yeah, uh, might not be exactly like this. It was something similar to that. However, I don't have time to look for the specials. It's right now advertised in this really funny price. 650. I would look, go for it and take more time uh, it's extremely however impossible for me to find I did my best so that I could trace this watch and today you know it's very difficult with this stuff because sometimes they put this watches on sometimes they don't uh, and I'm not gonna go fucking play uh, hide and find the game yeah but this is exactly the model uh, that you see right here this is this model here except it comes in a different colors. Uh, I think the interior is actually, no, actually, no, this is not the same one. It's not the same one, it's different. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a different model that I will not go right now and bother myself with it. The important stuff here is this housing here that you see, it's a, it was a good looking watch. It's a good looking watch. Uh, this model it is. This is this was the model and they did offer also in colors. Yeah, like this one here. This 
this type of stuff. This was a psychiatry. Do you see those spots inside? And he wanted me to look and look those in front of the computer. He had me sit and he asked stupid questions like, do you see those spots inside? Then that, that he would relate to them to the skin cancer on my back. Not only to psychiatry, he would be relating to different kind of issues and would start to drag and intimidate in front of a computer. What is it going to be, you, we say, if you're going to choose this kind of watch and so on. This was a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch. He did not uh, stand this type of color, like mixed like this. Uh, it was uh, mentally ill color, is what he claimed. He demanded from me to purchase uh, only clean colors like this, uh, nothing like this. He was extremely, extremely sensitive to this type of issue. Uh, as for this one here, he was convincing me that's nothing wrong, that's actually good. Uh, once I rejected it, Whatever I rejected it, he started to convince me that's nothing wrong. That's and record himself and give this apparently according to what went on during MK Ultra to Chinese delegation and so on. That was the kind of stuff that went on with this psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. I found that this one, which was like a doozy for psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, claiming me that if I, you, I, if I will buy this watch that I definitely will be raging as an insane because of the colors. If you're gonna buy this watch, you are gonna be you're rated as an insane. What is it gonna be then? We said psychiatry, psychiatry. And he would go like this and he would browse. And I found this here, for instance, is what he was also demonstrating me. Not like but what he was also demonstrating me like this he would sit me in front of a computer and he would be using aliexpress to not only me but the police and what is this here psychiatric pills it's a psychiatric pills remember what we said my friends this was during the time even during the time this was prior to hospitalization in 2012 and during the hospitalization itself in 2012, 2013, 2015. Not only during the hospitalization, but all these years since the AliExpress started to exist that went on. So this was a browsing with the police and with the psychiatrist in front of the laptop, drugged up, pushed to stare in the laptop and get the reality based on not only on there there was a, the enormous amount of humiliation involved in it see the blanket right there this here the blanket what is it going to be like uh, psychiatry look at it uh, psychiatry. Why would such a blanket be a psychiatry? Why would such a blanket be psychiatry? It's because psychiatric pills fuck you up, was his explanation. That's when you see the stars. You see the lights. Your brain a frying. So what did we set? Is it going to be? And so on. It is, the thing is that this shit went on for years in terms of being drugged up 24-7 because about 33% of the time, I estimate, I spent drugged up in the house, barricaded with the police that will be using eventually Wi-Fi to demonstrate activities of the home internet, browsing the stuff I would otherwise browse while demonstrating me the stuff that I would not use, and one of the websites was also AliExpress, on the laptop from, not on the laptop, but on their internet, on their laptop from the internet from the neighbors, such as is Andre Ull and so on. Neighbors in the area, they would use this wireless Wi-Fi extenders 
to sit inside of the kitchen, inside of the living room, downstairs inside of the father's hunting room, downstairs in, inside of the mother's room where she has a storage. Every room, they spent years inside of it brainwashing me in front of the laptop on how to see the reality is. This shit started with the police beginning the year 1995. We are talking about the PC laptops. So we are going to 1995 when they did not even have, I think, probably did not have internet, but they did have already uh, capacity to use laptops and demonstrate what they anticipate is just a matter of time before I myself would buy a laptop and so on. That kind of stuff. So this is the way they operated to get a psychiatrist Peter Kapsch going uh, since he was uh, he wanted to prove himself uh, best. Uh, to his abilities to uh, to the world you know, as an extremely intelligent and talented person, capable, smart. They were uh, raped in the head, according at least to British royals. Uh, he found his way through the bestiality performed on me concerning watches, even into the manufacturing world of watches in China. And I was told that he personally started to design watches, that it was such a passion that he grew, that he alone started to design watches, and I would use a political circle, uh, circle to literally rape politicians, Chinese politicians to the degree they would go and start to uh, to satisfy his visions, uh, literally manufacture according to his taste, according to his vision, for which he bragged about how successful designer of the watches he was. He would, he would brag about how successful he was. Literally, the watches probably, maybe, even what you see here. He was extremely, extremely, extremely into watches. So now tell me about the mental illness. Here I found the watch from Amitya Weber. This is a husband from my niece. This is a daughter from my sister. Uh, these are basically the people who threw me into the psychiatric hospital. I've never seen him wearing this watch. These people never come here. They used to come here a long time ago, uh, like 2017. Uh, then they got the message that they're not going to be capable to dance the dance of death around me no more, that it doesn't work, that my memory in respect to what went on with them alone during MK Ultra, talking about the bestiality here, was just too strong. My niece literally employed as a government food inspector uh, was obsessed just as a psychiatrist, Peter Kapsch, also with the poisoning, motivating in testing food products, see what, just what harm, what damage have on person that is poisoned, that is giving uh, quick results, feedback, results on food products on how it how they perform when you know you 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 use a person that you destroy his immune system through causing one damage liver kidney heart etc 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 basically so this here was his preferred watch this was also the watch that Nurse Yanko became totally crazy and excited about. Everybody was excited about this watch. 
This watch, however, very quickly went off the picture, and it's probably because you don't have to change the battery. That means that you don't even have to open one. That means that if you jump into the water, and the water gets in, and you didn't touch one, etc., etc. Um, they, however, this is what I was told. They, however, have proven me that the water-resistant watches, not only they open them, not only they use them and then change them for the watches that I ordered, but they also gave me, just as was promised, even with the watches, as I opened from postal office with a broken housing and stuff like this, would not go and fucking buy, get the watch and jump with one in the in the water would be a suicide mission, basically. So this sale, my friends, was designed in a such a way that it would trigger the interest in me since the watch that I demonstrated you, which I purchased, was never ever delivered to me was done in a such a way that it would trigger in me interest for uh, a substitute for another watch through what would be a budget and through the sale which I demonstrated you, uh, through the watches which were the most involved in MC Arts. And those are the watches that I demonstrated you right here. This basically is this, this kind of watch that you see here. Right, so they were using basically this stuff here to, uh, through the brainwash to demonstrate in me for like, now it's 2024, so this shit started in 98, uh, in 2008, they had these blueprints, uh, actually samples of the watches already made, done already. Ready, dandy, 2012, we are talking, 2011, 2012, we are talking about watches like this. Big time already before they appeared on the market. So, um, with the idea that I'm going to purchase them, absolutely, with people who post now, lately, just now, with these videos that you get to see on the internet, involving it, demanding from me to purchase will confirm the account only if you will uh, involve this guy involved here, Mr. Yuhu. Uh, this is a nice guy, by the way. However, I told you about how, what type of, uh, how they, uh, how things, what they, what the expectations, this guy did not have this kind of expectations. This guy did not have this kind of expectations. But this is this is this is a British guy. We'll kind of dig right into uh, why they're so popular. Uh, and it was just it was just one of. It was not only the British that would be involved. They involved the people from Spain. Uh, they involved people from all over the place. For, all the countries you possibly can imagine, and they would go and, and heavily brainwash on this, on this, uh, no, I'm not going to say on this brand, but on this type of watch, because it was also other brands that would do similar, this type of watch and so on, yes. So what about the AliExpress? How much did the AliExpress had to do with this last sale of watch? Um, all the representatives, customer representatives, whom I already have met online, were not only inside of the Novo Mesto city and inside of this very house, inside of this very re living room area here, came an invitation of the Slovenian police to literally check where the future crime would take place, the Novo Mesto postal office. I was a frequent customer in Ali Express is headquarters. Uh, Alibaba, AliExpress headquarters. Then they would also take me to the Philippines. Uh, Slovenian police claimed me not, that not everything is not in China, uh, that they have some customer service, something also in the Philippines. If true or not, I do not know. Uh, I have been to the many modern facilities, buildings where the customer service was being provided for their variety of companies. I cannot confirm any of that stuff. I remember that China, when it comes to AliExpress, 
uh, is that kind of stuff I can clearly agree with it I can give the whole the complete background of this headquarters where the customer service is based located uh, headquarters are located is that kind of stuff I can do um, I have those memories thought about uh, how the transfer how how let's say how the government uh, made the subsidiary how they all organized just like the founders of, of Aliexpress I can do that kind of stuff and of Alibaba I can go all the way down time wise with that with the police I can do that kind of stuff too um, but um, what I was gonna say That's got little to do with novel master police, which had, you know, they also involved Chinese police. It was Chinese police also that was involved in it. But, you know, people can do little before the crime takes place. So I wouldn't judge anybody according to the past. That's one of the things. I got to meet people who totally reminded me of who they were when I interacted with them through online. Um, the same procedures they asked me for as they suggested me would during MK Ultra. Um, that kind of stuff. This is basically what we're so uh, how they wanted to make the sale. Whether well, AliExpress tried to satisfy British colonialists, they they tried to satisfy parasites of this world. We're talking about the British here, we're talking about the Buckingham Palace here. We're talking about the British royals, the assassins in this place, the killers. You know what makes China really, really down to the low place? What the fuck are you trying to do? What are you doing, guys? What the fuck are you doing when it comes to the corruption index? What, what are you doing? You go and you murder people in other continents for your owners from London while you're claiming that you're a communist state? It's a question I'm going to stress at the United Nations. Those are the questions you will have to answer. I'm not satisfied in respect to that. I will not let you get away with this question. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you doing this kind of stuff to, to, to what? You are trying to resolve the crime with adding extra additional crime. There will be a problems in respect to this issue at the United Nations. I will want also to have the answer on this issue from Chinese alone. Why is it that you go and you do stuff like this to the people? Why do you do this stuff like this? Especially when you know that something like this took place. Was this like any one of you in China that you would report the crime and you would not have the right after being poisoned for so many years, tortured? to collect financial assistance, to have the right to go to the physicians to check yourself or to get the medications? Would you like to live like this? That your health care instead would be used by the psychiatry to hunt you around, to intimidate you, and eventually to get you murdered? Through the issues like this? You would like the Chinese people want to live like this? You admit this, you recognize this as a way, then you're not a communist country. Then you're a colonialistic parasite. Then you're a parasite like those in London. You're going to have to answer some tough questions and you have some resolutions in respect to corruption to make. I will not let you get away with it. I was told by AliExpress people that if I would get, by the, actually by the politicians, Chinese politicians, I'll get in a war with AliExpress. I'll never have a chance in China again as far as business. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about any of that when it comes to this kind of issues. You're not going to have a chance with me if you're not going to answer these questions according to expectations of the law that you have written, according to the treaties you have with the United Nations and other nations. This is going to get fucking tough on you. I'm going to fucking break your balls for this shit. Your fucking Chinese British boss for this shit. Why do you do this to other nations 
Why do you do this to other people? Stuff like this. This goes into the worst category of racism, discrimination, racial discrimination. It goes into the category of colonialism and extermination against somebody who you don't actually even have a connection to. For you to go, allow yourself to go and do the stuff like this on behalf of somebody from European, on a European, little European continent, little country, you go and you do the stuff like this. Why do you do this as a member of the UN? Why do you do the stuff like this? It's like so much money that you made, they just had to go and you have to, then you love these fucking people. Why don't you put them as a, as a kings and as a queens of China then? Remove your communist party and deliver British royals and put them over there as the kings and queens. Like the Russians did. Like the Russians tried to put Prince Harry as a king and stuff. Why don't you do this kind of stuff? Why don't you do that kind of stuff? Why are you doing this kind of stuff to other people? This basically is how they have uh, wanted to make sale. And it's exactly, exactly, exactly according to MKUltra. Uh, this sale here, based on my memory, which they totally, totally replicated, uh, was to be gone just to make sure here if I get somehow disconnected. Uh, the balance of my account is 10 euros. And if I go here to see basically the transfer, you're going to see that out of, I don't know how many requests I have made, from AliExpress, the only thing that was refunded to me was five euros and ninety-five cents. It's not the watch. It's not the watch. Uh, what is that stuff here? Stanya Nesik. This here. AliExpress eight dollars and ninety-nine. This is December, um, February the 12th, 2024. Stanie, the city euro, 10 euros. February 7, I don't know. I, I don't. Uh, It's probably something else here. We're going to see. The Ponies Clinic, the new copy, the bit, the card, it's uh, this here. Yeah, but it's supposed to give me, I think, it should give me all the. It doesn't. It doesn't give me. It doesn't give me the chance to. Um, I don't know what exactly this is here, but it says here that I do have on my card. Uh, let me see that. Stania, uh, I am in a shape. It's this here of ten euros. Um, Uh, it was four euros. That's why I am. I just. I don't understand what. Um, what exactly that's supposed to mean? Meaning that this should be like a description of um, a money deposit from, obviously from AliExpress, uh, in a value of at least like like around like uh, six bucks, you know, 
and I don't see it. I don't see it. When I go here and I, this uh, it means everything. Okay, what about this stuff here? No, they say no. They say, um, it says here that I invested 20 euros on the account on February 7. Is the only stop of this is not listed as minus. So I don't understand uh, precisely. Yeah, that was a transaction, sure. And it's like I suggested, it was four euros. You, know, you see that? Um, so basically is what I would view this. So where where is it? What's happening with this stuff? I don't I really do not understand. I am going to try to entertain this disconnect every, I think, like five minutes. So I'm going to have to switch back and forth with this stuff. The thing is that The thing is that all this stuff that you see here, you know, I'm sure you, you can see it. You see here from AliExpress, all this stuff here. Uh, resort, order, this and that, dispute and so on, customer service and so on. This is just something little that I requested the money back. Uh, and so when I look at all this stuff here, and I don't know what to think, what really is happening. Um, there is more here, the results. It really wasted a lot of money. This is really, really turned out to be extremely expensive, time consuming deliberately. Deliberately. Last time when I conversed with the AliExpress service, customer service representatives, I wrote them down. I said, because they promised me I'm going to get the money back. I don't know. Uh, probably take some time before they give you money back or something like that. I don't know what the procedure is. Look, uh, this is the account. And as you see right there, it didn't change much, according to my opinion. However, it did for at least like six euros, which I don't see anywhere. The bank is not demonstrating that anywhere how status actually changed from four euros to 10 euros why the bank is not demonstrating that i have look i do not understand i do not know i have noticed this number appear sometimes on friday uh given that today however is march the 11 2024 in monday so why the bank is not demonstrating that deposit which i think is from aliexpress I do not know. There was increased. Uh, um, I'm not going to be doing that right now. I did that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the thing is that at AliExpress, they told me it's going to be the money that's going to be refunded to you. Uh, it's exactly is going to be the money that we're going to refund for you for this watch. Yeah. So I was talking to you about how the sale was done. I want to realize this in this video according to MK Ultra. That's why I know that AliExpress representatives already have to do with this problem here. They shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff like this. You shouldn't be doing sales like this. You shouldn't be doing sales like this to somebody like this. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be slaving for your ex-slave masters. Your beginnings are humble from the trade with opium, and I must tell you, 
as somebody in a situation as I am, you have completely lost your track about your, your past. Stuff you do is actually very, very beneficial to your masters from London. And I will remind you of this stuff at United Nations. I will make sure that you will be reminded of this stuff. It's not glorious. Maybe you're looking forward to it. Maybe you want to crash your country down. Maybe you want to make the revolt. Maybe you're trying to prove your leaders wrong. Maybe you are trying, maybe your leaders try to change the system into imperial or something. But these are not my problems. And I'm not here to be your customer service. I'm not here, I'm not, I'm not a Santa Claus basically to give you the gift of torture. The gift of exploiting the limits of torture on a human being for your own profits. You all work at AliExpress for the money, right? You get you get the salaries, right? You don't go there for free. You don't do this stuff. You don't do this stuff. I do. I actually am compelled. I'm raped through the psychiatry because of the people like you. You did this stuff to me. So it's my job to expose you so the world can see what you do, actually. This is not bullshit news from mainstream media. This is real. So there has been something here. There is, like they say, there is a refund notification. It must have been this one here three days ago. And I just want to sh make sure to see this because I actually, I don't think that this is from the watch. I don't believe that this is from the watch, but it would be really interesting because I was told this is going to be from the watch. I don't know. I don't think that this is from the watch anyways. Uh, this is from something else, 4 euros and 87. But the more or less the number, which I think there must be another refund that took place. This is all on the March 8th, you see? I have no idea what that is, how that, how that happened like that. Um, and it really doesn't matter. The amount of money that I was told, the way this is going to be, the way, the way, the way this is going to match these issues, the way this is going to be, they told me this will match the amount of money you will pay for the watch. And it was literally offered in front of the computer the sale that will be taking place so that I could go, I was told, and incited in it by the neighbors that it's going to be like, it's going to be like last chance, like Tuesday or something like that. They were really playing like Tuesday and then Wednesday and then Thursday, something like this with that kind of issue for the sale. And then it would never be again and so on and so forth. Uh, the prices would go up to the sky and so on. They were doing with absolutely everything like this. Everything was in the same, the same, the same, identical, totally, totally identical procedure it was involved in it. Everything was identical to the stuff I have stated here. I am going to request, just as I have told to AliExpress, representatives, I will request assistance from Chinese police. Just as police that goes accordingly with whatever is written inside of the guide, rule book, will be the same thing with the courts, with everything else in respect to this case. I will not negotiate, will not make any kind of deals on the side with absolutely anybody. It's too much of a damage it was done to me. I'm 52. And I'm not going to go about the rest of it. On what you see here, my money, my life, 
was wasted on so that other people could see themselves in in a stuff like this or that basically british royals prove me a case of sickness as king charles of britain dreamed about will manage that's why this stuff is so important to me that's why i told you this shit is more violent than pussy this shit is more violent than anything that you have known of and it's been literally used in today's world to drive people insane and it must stop it must come to an end i have seen in poland aliexpress using their own postal box machines where they would store deliveries the, and it's basically what really really helps it definitely helps people uh, get around there are different alternatives in poland that exist uh but still nobody can really stop police from doing this kind of stuff uh, nobody can get on the way to the police uh, for as long as they have a complete government behind them. Judiciary system, Supreme Court, as it's called in Slovenia. Uh, they have these assassins, murderers working, wearing nice shirts, pants, driving nice cars, and working night and day basically on killing people. nobody can stop this kind of procedure the question only is which are the countries and which are the systems they're going to come in and support to this what you see here i have written about today it's like as if humanity did not pay the price big enough already that it is more now that needs to be done and it needs to be brought back to life yeah so the money that was re refunded to me from aliexpress according to the words of an individual whom i have conversed with a few days ago when requesting the money return and yeah this was done through the theft through the total theft and the aliexpress owes i don't know how many orders that i made that were not delivered items goodies were stolen Perhaps they were sent back to China. Money was just uh, confiscated. Uh, and the police is saying, come here and report your crime, basically. Come back and report your crime. I'm sure you understand the concept whether you are from Strasbourg, from the so-called European Union Court for Human Rights, where I begged for assistance on my knees since 2006, or wherever the fuck you're from, maybe International Criminal Court, which literally used people to ridicule me, to laugh in my face. Even in the same thing took place in the United Nations. In, in certain cases, in many cases, way too many to count. Or whatever fuck organization you are, maybe Interpol, where I was ridiculed, spit in, at. This is not the way the law works or the treaties. You don't, you don't judge people like this. Why would you do this stuff like this? What, what kind of credentials, what kind of right do you have to do this stuff like this? That's why, ladies and gentlemen, we are heading firmly to the World War III. We are actually in the midst of it. And they say this time it's going to be billions of people that are going to go missing. My neighbor, Miroslav Berger, told me, don't worry about it. Don't be sad. It will be billions that will perish this time. Yeah, the sale was done in a such a way, so they told me that you're going to have enough for this. You're just going to have enough 
so that you can go and you can do another purchase and that's exactly what King Charles insisted on through the watch I demonstrated you uh, to prove me that I will not get better than the gift that he gave me which in fact is not even his gift as I explained yeah so basically we are we are turning around rolling around I lost 52 years in process health uh, my health is decimated quality of life is not very fucking good I don't know how if you have a, such a problems like I have I don't know what to look forward to in life really what's going to come out uh, and here we are circling around dinner around and fucking around and driving person insane despite everything I did for 52 years 50 second years 52 years so we have this this is the stuff that we have going on here this like this so the psychiatrist Peter Kauf would scroll like this in front of the computer and you see this here what it says here on the left side you see those stars that was the kind of stuff that he would continue to demonstrate to me all the stuff that they would be playing with they would demand for me to purchase also like luminous moon stars and so on that was the stuff he would afterwards after the brainwash after demonstrating me how they have built their watches and stuff like this improved their watches and so on he would insist me that's a psychiatry that's a psychiatry that's a psychiatry that's a psychiatry so anything you see the colorful that is with different colors psychiatry and so on just like a lights like a police lights semaphore lights and stuff like that this was his gig this was his joke this was his basically the way he did and you know what unfortunately he really did this stuff for london i could not believe that something like this is possible we have animals like this in london people who accident that this here stuff like this this right there what is that police lights psychiatric pills and so on these are the words i repeat out of the head of psychiatrist peter kovch who repeated them to me or had police repeat this shit to me time and again time and again a million times just as i described yeah so this shit is more violent than pussy pussy is personal this shit is a little bit more personal it gets so fucking personal he claimed me psychiatrist cops claiming that he managed to climb under my skin and in my head and so on and he repeated this stuff he repeated he he braved himself he prided himself with these issues use radio to play songs from croatia from whatever he would get he targeted croatia a lot and all the time would use do you remember what we said do you remember what they said we have a police say do you remember what we said and remember what you said is exactly what i told you went on and much of it at least 80 percent of it that went on i did not even explain yet it was the case that you have no fucking chance to stay alive that's why i see that many countries bet on my death but certain the truth never is going to come out but the truth is out. Remember what we said? Cancer. Like this. And this is the shit. This is basically the way. This is what went on like this. Yeah. Mm, this I could go years and talk to you about this shit that went on at Aliexpress the problem is that police will have to confirm absolutely everything as factual every fucking word that I stated at your dismay and at your horror police will have to will confirm every fucking word I stated and will also reveal the rest of it 
is a fucking truck of the files they have on this case. Uh, if something digs me in my head is um, somebody coming out and say, hey, come here, man. We have agreement. We agreed about something. Bang, bang, bang. You know, we do this and that. No, you know, you know, bro, man. We police officer, you know, bro, man. Me from USA, me from Britain, you from Slovenia. We agree, man, you know. You know what I mean? This and that. Bing, bong, bing, bang. I hope this case is going to be a great lesson for police, for the judiciary courts to see basically how far uh, and foremost what it takes to murder a person, what it takes to kill a person. I hope that, that, that police will get a lesson that it's not so easy to murder a person, that it's not so easy to kill. Because you think it's so easy to kill somebody and disappear without a trace and so on. I hope you're going to learn about this. Looking forward to nothing more than medical examinations to demonstrate to you what the fuck was done to me. What kind of stuff this is. Because this is what I'm going to enjoy. Going to a medical examination. And get really, really examined. And doubt the physicians that are looking forward to lie. Because I already know you will fucking lie. I know that you are fucking killers over there. You are more murderers than police is. Couldn't fucking imagine that I came across people like this. In Poland and in Slovenia. Inside of the healthcare system. Fucking knock me out. Broken spine, motherfucker. You cannot make 100 meters walking from the pain. And it's laughing in your face saying, fucking, there is nothing. There is no, no injury, no nothing.